All right, hopefully you've begun to, if not completed, the hands-on tutorial on Git. And I want to show how we're going to use Git for our Rails application. If you remember, we were able to get this simple web page up. Now, before we get any more details in, is when we should be working on setting up Git and being able to communicate already with each other. So what I'm going to do is store Git in a repository that uh, I'm going to share on GitHub with you and uh, you're going to see how that all works together. So you, we've already created code so we know that we can just set up the Git repository by running Git init. And I'm going to edit a file that was created by the Rails command to um, be able to say please don't store these files for me in, in Git. They don't make sense. Files like the database or temporary files that don't have any business being in the repository. I'm going to add one additional file to it. It's a file that's, that's really helpful for Ruby to work with libraries. They call Ruby libraries gems but it's not helpful when we're trying to communicate with each other and I've got one version of this file and you've got another version of this file on different machines because they may think that we should be using slightly different software with each other. Now I can go ahead and add those files to the git repository by using git add dot because git does this recursively so all the files in the current directly uh, are going to be added and we can see that with our git status we can see all these new files that were created for us are now going to be stored in our git database and and normally when I do git commit I just hit return here and type in a commit message um, but for this very first one I'm going to use this dash m flag which says I'm going to create a, a very simple commit message initial commit and normally I don't recommend this flag because this flag suggests that the commit's almost trivial. In this case it kind of is. We're adding all the defaultly created files that were set up for us by Rails. But in general, it's not a trivial commit. We, we did something. We added a feature. We made a bug. And that probably takes more explanation than a short you know, one-liner can provide. And so typing that into your terminal is a really good idea. And so in general, don't use the dash M flag, except, you know, if it's a typo or, or something like that. But usually you, your, your commits are going to be more meaningful and require more of a message than this. But this is a good example, one of the few good examples where this minor message is sufficient. So now that we've added that to Git, um, that's fine. It's on my machine. You don't have access to the files on my machine. I want to be able to share them with you. So I'm going to create a GitHub repository. And so you, you can watch me do that by uh, just going here. And I'll call it the same thing. We'll call it Worship Together. And I'm going to make it public for you to be able to access. And I'm going to skip this step, noticeably. Uh, because it says to do that if you run git init and we have done that and so we don't want it to add new files because we already have the files that we want so let's go ahead create this repository and you can see down here that it says to do these things uh, create the repository and then add this remote and so let's go ahead and and do that I'm gonna do something that looks a little bit different uh, remote add. I don't like the name origin for this repository because my origin is actually my local machine and what, I, what I, this is is my publicly available one so I'm going to give it a different name and y you can see that the name should be um, this right here uh, so let's make sure it's git at git hub.com colon Geisler. Just double checking that that is correct. And then uh, worship together dot get. And now I've told my local repository about my public repository. And so the next thing I can do is uh, do this push. This 
dash u just says anytime I'm talking with this repository, um, note that uh, I, I don't want to have to keep saying the branch every time. Just remember that I've pushed master there. So let's do that. Let's get push dash u public. I'm going to send my master to the public master. And we do that. 